visit aromacup.com, the world's leading single-serve coffee guide. Join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find coupons and reviews on great single-serve gourmet coffee machines, coffee capsules, and more great information, all available at aromacup.com. Hey guys, this is Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks for joining me here today in our virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. I'm having a little fun with some videos that I'm making right now showing you how we can do a lot of great recipes using Tassimo tea discs which look just like this guy right here and the Bosch Tassimo T45 Suprema single serve coffee machine, the BrewBot as it is affectionately referred to. This machine does all the work for you and makes a wealth of very cool coffee drinks that uh, we can create all with one machine, espresso drinks, teas, coffees, a lot of other great things. So today I'm going to show you how to make the one that really gets you going, the drink that's really gonna make the morning happen, and that is the Red Eye. It's also great for staying up all night. The reason this one is called the Red Eye is because it makes use of coffee, and in this case I'm using Javalia single bl Signature Blend Coffee. This is a tea disc, and in this case this is going to brew about eight ounces worth of hot signature blend coffee. And then I'm going to be brewing an espresso shot. This is again a Javalia espresso shot. This is going to be about four ounces worth of espresso. And this tea disc combined with that tea disc is going to make the red eye. So let's go ahead and start brewing. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the brew basket here and I'm going to drop in my espresso tea disc, flip him on his head pop them into the machine, take out your drip tray because I'm going to use a slightly bigger mug that doesn't always fit into the machine right there. Go ahead and start the machine brewing and we'll let this guy do its job. While it's doing that, I'll tell you guys a little bit about tea discs. Tea discs contain enough coffee inside of them to create the drink that they are meant for. So in this case, the Signature Blend Coffee Tea Disc that I've got right here has this barcode on the top of it. That barcode, which when read by the BrewBot, by the T45, is gonna tell the T45 how much water it should put into this tea disc. So again, as I say, the machine does all the work for me. I don't need to measure any coffee, I don't need to grind any coffee, all that I need to do is take a tea disc and drop it into my machine. Now you can make this drink in whichever formula you would like. You can do espresso first, you can do the coffee first, whichever you would like. Either formula is fine because in the long run, you're just gonna be making a nice strong cup of coffee, the one that we call the red eye. So the machine is real fast, as you can tell, it's already finishing up its brew process on that shot of espresso. Again, about four ounces worth of espresso right there and it's all done i know that because i get the solid green light next to my big silver button and i'm going to go ahead and pop open the brew basket and i'm going to take out my spent tea disc be careful because that guy is a little bit hot so now that i have taken out my spent tea disc let's brew our coffee i've got my signature blend tea disc right here flip him on his head as well pop him into the brew basket close that guy up and start brewing you can see how easy this is. Usually you would need to use two machines for this. You would need a machine for making coffee or maybe a French press or something like that. And you would need an espresso machine. In this case, I'm doing everything with one machine, all thanks to what tea discs can do. Now this tea disc is going to make about eight ounces worth of hot coffee. And I can adjust that later on if I want, but I want this to be as strong as possible. So I'm gonna let the machine do its thing and measure all of the water content for my coffee. While it's doing its job, I'll do mine and remind you guys to please check out aromacup.com. Make a free account with us, sign up, join our forums, talk with other coffee lovers, find reviews and coupons on great machines and coffee capsules for your single serve addiction that you are currently growing here with aromacup.com. I know I love single serve machines, I love the ease, I really like how quickly I can make all of my favorite coffee drinks all in one quick and easy step using single serve coffee and you can find out more information on doing that all at aromacup.com. 
So you can see I've got lots of coffee brewing right here. And the great thing about this is I'm gonna get a little bit of extra bitterness and that flavor of the espresso from that first tea disc that I made. And I've got my second one, which is going to be my regular nice strong cup of coffee. When this guy is all done brewing, I just need to wait for the drips to stop. I don't necessarily need to wait for this machine to go into manual mode. Manual mode means that I get this solid green light over here. That means I can keep adding water to my blend that I've just created here. I don't really necessarily need to do that. I want to be able to stay up all night. I've got some work to do. There's my red eye. I'm good to go. I can go ahead and drop my drip tray back into my T45 and clean up is real quick and easy, of course. Open up the brew basket, take out your spent tea disc, close up your machine. You're set and ready to brew another red eye if you have a friend who's gonna stay up with you all night and get some work done, burn the midnight oil. As always, enjoy your cup. I'm Brian with aromacup.com. This has been How to Make a Red Eye. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos, find some great recipes, join us at aromacup.com. And I'll see you guys next drink.